Hey everyone, welcome back to another video where we're exploring the coolest AI tools available. In this episode, we're jumping into the fascinating realm of image upscalers. Ever stumbled upon a photo that looked like a blurry mess? Say goodbye to that mess because we've got a bunch of tools ready to transform our images with the magic of AI. We're checking out various online platforms today to figure out which one stands out as the best and most user-friendly option. The amazing part about using AI for upscaling images is not just about enhancing the details, but also about adding new elements, sometimes a bit too much, and that can really make your photos pop. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video where we're exploring the coolest AI tools available. In this episode, we're jumping into the fascinating realm of image upscalers. Ever stumbled upon a photo that looked like a blurry mess? Say goodbye to that mess because we've got a bunch of tools ready to transform our images with the magic of AI. We're checking out various online platforms today to figure out which one stands out as the best and most user-friendly option. The amazing part about using AI for upscaling images is not just about enhancing the details, but also about adding new elements, sometimes a bit too much, that can really make your photos pop. First up, our adventure is Crea.ai. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but that's how it looks. Jump on over to their website at www.crea.ai to get started. Crea harnesses AI to suggest enhancements for your images from a selection of models and lets you fine tune the results with some pretty straightforward sliders. Clicking on the image upscaler options whisk you away to a sign up page. A quick email entry later and you're in. The interface is super user friendly. Just drag and drop your image or click to upload. Once your image is in, the right hand toolbar offers an enhance button for immediate action or you can dive into the settings. The settings slider unveils options to adjust the auto-generated prompt, decide how closely the results should resemble the original, and determine the desired clarity for that crisp finish. You can even pick your output resolution, toggle color correction on, and add any negative prompts you want. Hit enhance after tweaking to your heart's content, and voila, the transformation is instant. The upscaled image, even just at two times thanks to the free version's limit, is impressively detailed and vibrant. Sliding between the before and after reveals a striking difference, adding realism that wasn't there before. But it's when we start playing with the AI strength, resemblance, and clarity settings that things get really interesting. Adjusting these can shift your image into a more digital illustration vibe, which can be pretty cool. Next, we upscale an illustration of a cyberpunk neon dude. The default settings already bring a lot of enhancements, especially to the details and depth. Oddly, the character looks more feminine after the first pass. Tweaking the settings further brings out even more of the background and neon effects, pushing it towards a digital painting look with more pronounced neon highlights. For our third experiment, we use a real photo of a Japanese temple surrounded by colorful trees. The initial upscale softens the image too much, turning it into something that resembles a painting and stripping away some desired details. After some adjustments though, it starts to look like a perfect illustration for a challenging puzzle game. Maxing out the settings, however, pushes it to an overwhelmingly saturated territory, proving that finding the right balance is key to the perfect upscale. Next up, we're heading over to upscale.org to check out another tool. This one's an offline application available for various operating systems, so let's grab the Windows version and get it installed. The installation is quick and easy, and before you know it, you're ready to dive in. Upscale greets us with a sleek interface, offering just the right amount of options without overwhelming us. To get started, you can either click in the center of the main screen or drag and drop your image right into the workspace. Alternatively, there's a select image button on the left side toolbar. The process is super straightforward. One, upload an image. Two, choose your model. Three, pick an output folder. And four, hit the upscale button. Let's get into it. We upload our first image, stick with the default model for upscaling, set the output and press upscale. 
The results come back quickly and using the slider to compare, we notice the details have been refined quite nicely. Next, we switch to the digital art model. After a brief wait, the image transforms into a smooth digital painting style. It's really impressive. For a third model, we select the general photo balanced mix. The changes are subtle this time, but the quality improvement is clear and the image looks great. Now it's time to see how Cyberpunk character fares. We'll use the same three models for consistency. Starting with the default model, we immediately see small details enhanced and an overall boost in the image quality. Switching to the digital art model, the illustration takes on a new life with smooth colors and a great vibe. Using the general photo balanced mix for the final round, we don't notice much change in elements, but the quality jumps, making the image crisper and sharper. For our third image, the Japanese temple, we'll run through the models again. With the default model, the excessive contrast is toned down, enhancing the image's vibrancy and appeal. However, the digital art model doesn't work out too well this time, turning the detailed leaves into a blur of colors and losing a lot of detail. Finishing with balanced mix, only minor details are tweaked, showing not much difference from the original, but with slightly less pixelation. All right, next stop is Pixelcut.ai's Upscaler, and we're gonna give it a whirl. It's advertised as free, but I'm a bit skeptical about that claim. Let's see what the deal really is. The platform is refreshingly straightforward. No need to sign up, enter an email, download anything, none of that hassle. So we dive in and upload our first image to see how it fares. A couple of clicks later, we're in and the site tells us we can upscale our image by 2x or 4x, but there's a catch in the fine print. Batch upscaling requires a premium membership. The upscaling result is actually pretty impressive. Subtle detail enhancements, better contrast and color correction that genuinely makes the image pop without overdoing it. Confidently, we hit the download button to save our masterpiece, but aha, there's the catch I was wary of. Turns out, downloading the upscaled image or performing further upscales demands a paid membership. So essentially, you're free to play around with the available options, tweak colors, apply blur, add effects to the image you've uploaded, but that's about it. Not one to give up easily, I decide to see if there's a workaround. I hit the replace image button, bring back our cyberpunk character, and give the upscale image button another press. The results are in, and hitting done seems to offer a glimmer of hope. It looks like we might just be able to download this one. Emboldened by this, we swap in the temple image for another try. After applying the upscale, the image is noticeably smoother. We click done, and it appears we can download this one too, rounding out our comparisons nicely. Next up in our journey, we're heading over to Upscale.media. This site caught our eye because, like a few others we've explored, it doesn't ask you to sign up or register, which is always a plus in my book. So we dive right in and upload our first image. As soon as it's uploaded, the site gets to work and offers us two different upscale versions, a standard one and one powered by AI, both doubling the size of our original image. They've even included a handy zoom feature so we can get up close and personal with the differences between our original photo and the two upscaled versions. After examining them, we download both to do a more in-depth comparison later on. Feeling adventurous, we decide to push the limits and go for a 4x upscale. The results? Absolutely impressive. We make sure to download these versions too for a side-by-side -side look later. Now it's time for our cyberpunk character to step into the spotlight. We upload the image and watch as the AI does its magic, smoothing out the pixelation and enhancing the image beautifully. Encouraged by the success, we up the ante and go for a 4x upscale, downloading all four versions of our cyberpunk hero. But then we hit an unexpected snag. Turns out, Upscale.media operates on a credit system, and we've just used up our daily allowance. Looks like we're on a 24-hour cooldown period before we can give it another go. Well, patience is a virtue, right? At least we've got some cool upscaled images to analyze in the meantime. Next, we're checking out HitPaw Photo. 
just head on over to their website at hitpaul.com slash photo dash AI dot HTML to dive into what they've got to offer. HitPaul is a downloadable software for Windows users. So I went ahead and clicked that download button to give it a spin. The installation process was a breeze. Just run the .exe file and in no time it's ready to roll on my PC. HitPaul offers a bunch of cool features like the AI Enhancer, AI Generator, AI Portrait, Background Remover, and Object Removal. For this video, we're zeroing in on the AI Enhancer. Uploading an image is as simple as a click. I choose our first image and right after uploading, HitPaw gives a quick rundown on how to navigate through its options. You've got a slew of models to pick from, face model, general model, denoise model, colorize model, color calibration, scratch repair, low light model. We're going with the face model for this one, where you can choose between soft, soft version 2, and sharp. There's even a button to ensure you've selected the faces in the image. We've decided on the sharp model, hit preview, and voila, the results are in. The comparison between the original and enhanced images is straightforward, but there's a catch. The enhanced image comes with a watermark smack in the middle. A bit of a letdown, but the quality of the enhancement itself is impressive. The details are finely tuned, with very subtle changes that hit the mark. However, when we try to export, we are met with a paywall requiring a subscription to download our enhanced images. So no luck in getting our hands on the upscaled versions. Not deterred, we upload another image to see what magic HitPaw can work. This time it's our cyberpunk character's turn, and we opt for the soft model. The result is pretty remarkable, adding fine details to the image and a subtle blur that makes the face stand out smoothly against a sharper background and detailed clothing. Finally, we give our temple image a go with the denoise model. The outcome? Not dramatically different, with minimal changes in detail. But honestly, it doesn't look half bad. Alright, we've got another tool to check out. And this one's a bit unique. It goes by the name of dgb.lol. Yes, you heard that right. A dot lol. This platform offers free upscaling, which is great, but there's a twist. Your work gets placed in a queue and the wait time depends on how busy they are. To get started, you just hit the get started button to dive into their range of tools. They've got a whole lineup including the AI Image Upscaler, Mid Journey Splitter, Image Fixer, AI Image to Vector, and plenty more. This time around, we're going with the AI Image Upscaler. You upload your image, choose your preferred upscaling model, hit submit, and then you wait. You can check on your place in line by clicking the My Files button, but from there, it's just a waiting game until your image is processed. When it's finally ready, you download it with a click and can even do a side-by-side -side comparison with the original by hitting the compare button. The process time can vary. A quick turnaround might take about 10 minutes but it could stretch to an hour or more during busy periods. Sure, it's free, which is a big plus, but you'll need a bit of patience. If waiting isn't a deal breaker for you, this tool can be a real gem. Moving on, we're diving into another fascinating tool, Leonardo.ai's Upscaler. This platform offers a few different ways to give your images a boost, including the alternate, smooth, crisp, and alchemy upscaling options. To kick things off, you'll need to log into the app and navigate to your personal feed. There you can pick the picture you want to work on and decide which upscaling method suits your needs. It's worth noting though that the alchemy option is a premium feature, so if you're using the free version you'll have to stick to the other models. For our test run we're going with the alternate upscaler which costs about 5 tokens and promises quick processing. After selecting the alternate upscaler, you'll need to hang tight for a bit until it pops up in your personal feed. Once it does, head back, click on your image, and you'll find a drop-down menu that lets you toggle between the upscaled and original versions. Opting for the alternate mode brought out some noticeable enhancements in our image. Things like skin texture, eye clarity, clothing details, and background elements all got a nice upgrade, boosting the overall quality. Now let's switch gears and try out something a bit more fun. A photo of a cool grandpa rocking out with his guitar on the beach, sunglasses and all. This time we're going for the alchemy crisp mode. 
After submitting our request and giving it a few minutes, we return to our personal feed to check out the results. And let me tell you, the improvements are stunning. The skin textures are so refined, it's hard to believe it's the same photo. This tool really took the image to another level, enhancing its coolness even further. All right, let's take a whirl with Photoshop and see how we can spruce up those pixelated images. I know, I know, you're thinking Photoshop is expensive. Well, it can be. For individuals, it is $59.99 a month, but that gets you all the Adobe Creative Cloud apps, which include Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, After Effects, Acrobat, basically over 20 apps by Adobe. Go take you some Udemy courses on some of these and you could boost your career or side hustle options. And if you're a student or have a kid in school, let your kid help you get a discount. Then you can get it for $19.99 a month. And aren't we all students of life? But you can actually get Photoshop all by itself for $22.99 a month. First off, load up Photoshop and open the image you want to work on. We've got three tricks up our sleeve to tackle an upscale. For the first method, after opening your image, head straight to the Edit menu, then Preferences, and click on Technology Previews. Here you'll want to enable the Preserve Details 2.0 Upscale option and hit OK. Next, go to the Image menu. Select Image Size, and here you can adjust your image size by pixels, inches, percentage, or change the output resolution directly, which will automatically adjust the image size. Beneath the resolution field, there's a drop-down where you can choose your upscale method. If you've enabled Preserve Details 2.0, it'll appear as an option here. Zoom into your image and switch between the methods to see which one best enhances your image. Once you're satisfied, hit OK and voila! Moving on to method number two, open your image, duplicate the original layer by either dragging it to the duplicate button or right-clicking and selecting Duplicate Layer. Then navigate to the Filter menu and click on Neural Filters. Inside, you'll find a bunch of filter options as presets. You'll need to download them before using, so hit the Download button if you haven't already. For this example, we're using the Super Zoom Neural Filter. It lets you zoom in on your image, clears up JPEG artifacts, and lets you play with noise reduction and sharpening levels for the best result. Hit OK once you're happy with the adjustments. The third method involves using a high-pass filter. Open your image and ensure the Preserve Details 2.0 option is selected. Go to Image, then Image Size, and adjust the resolution so the longest edge of your image exceeds 3000 pixels. Ensure Preserve Details 2.0 is chosen and click OK. Now duplicate your image layer, either drag it or right-click, and head to the Filter menu. Select Other and then High Pass. In the filter options, adjust the radius until you see a satisfying amount of detail, choose a value that suits your image, and hit OK. Change the blending mode of the high pass filter layer to overlay. If the effect feels too strong, tweak the fill value of the layer to get it just right. Wrapping up our toolkit exploration, we're diving into Adobe Lightroom Classic. Kick things off by launching Lightroom and loading up the image you want to enhance. Once you've got your image, give it a right click and select Enhance to open a world of possibilities. Here's where things get interesting. You'll find a denoise slider which lets you dial the noise level up or down, making your image smoother or adding a bit of texture, all depending on your preference. This feature leverages AI to refine your image's quality significantly. Then you've got the Raw Details option, which doubles your image's resolution and Super Resolution, which quadruples it. However, it's important to note that if you decide to tweak the noise levels with the denoise slider, you'll have to forego the super resolution feature. Lightroom will also give you a heads up on how long the enhancement process will take, which is pretty handy. The beauty of using Lightroom for this task lies in its ability to upscale images smoothly, aiming to maintain the integrity of your photos without introducing unwanted artifacts during the size and resolution adjustments. And that wraps up our deep dive into the world of image upscaling. We've journeyed through a variety of tools from the instantly accessible dgb.lol with its queue system to the intricate features of leonardo.ai breezed through the powerhouse that is Photoshop with its trio of techniques and rounded off with the sleek and smart capabilities of Adobe Lightroom Classic. 
Each tool brought its own flavor to the table, showcasing how we can breathe new life into those pixelated memories or fine tune our latest shots with a blend of AI smarts and classic editing finesse. Whether you're looking to remove that pesky noise, bring out the finer details, or just give your images that extra oomph, mm, there's something out there for everyone. The journey doesn't stop here though. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, I would really appreciate it if you'd hit the like button and subscribe as well. It costs you nothing, and it really helps out a small channel like mine. Anyway, have a great day, and let's go make bazillions.